Shalom YouTube, it's Abbott. Man, it's like May 25th on Sunday, I believe. Maybe it's the 26th. I think it's the 25th. It is so hot in Virginia. I'm telling you, it feels like there are three suns. And I'm feeling like the meteorologists are lying to us about how hot it is out here. And I'm going to go check myself when I'm done with this video. I came outside early this morning. My dogs woke me up early and I watered the garden and then I've been spraying my plants down with a little bit of one part alcohol, ten parts water because I've got a little aphid problem in the garden I'm trying to get under control. Whew. So I did gave them like a little squirt this afternoon and I'm telling you everything was drooping and it's only one o'clock p.m. It is so hot out here. There's something wrong. It's only May. It's not July. It feels like it's mid-July. So I've opened up my umbrella, trying to give my seedlings a little bit of a break. And I hope that it works, but my water bill is going to be really high because my kiddie pool ran dry. <laughs> I used all that water yesterday and watered everything for the last time, so I'm hoping it rains really soon. But my plants seem to be doing good. I'm just using a lot of resources to keep them alive because it's so darn hot. I'm in love with my plants. And I'm telling you, when I put the ho pulled the hose out, I squirted some water inside of my watering can first. And I'm telling you, the water was like almost boiling. It was almost boiling hot. I squirted some on my feet because I had gotten some dirt on my feet. And my feet, I feel like I burned my skin. So something's definitely wrong with our environment and don't expect the mainstream media to tell you because they're not going to tell you. So I'm just going to have a very high water bill and I'm going to keep my plants going so I can sustain my family in case we have a food crisis. But wow, my plants look beautiful. I actually brought my avocado plant outside here that I grew from seed. It's really simple to do guys. Look it up on YouTube. It takes two minutes. You can have several avocado plants. All of these are very young cucumbers. I love pickles and fresh cucumbers, so got tons of those. This is one of my peppermint plants. Love peppermint. Onions and strawberries, peppers, yellow squash. Those three are my mature cucumber plants. They already have little fruits on them, so that's pretty awesome. This is the sick ward. We had a little aphid problem, so I'm trying to keep those away from my other plants, but those are my corn plants, peas, potatoes, and one of my tomato plants that had gotten some aphids, but I think I do have it under control. I'm spraying them a couple times a day. My fig tree looks great. Baby fig tree. Oh, I can't flip it. <laughs> this is my first grape tree. Never had one before, so I'm excited to see grapes come. Blackberry, raspberry, basil, onion, strawberry, more basil. I use so much basil, I've been chopping them down. I cook just about every day. So, basil doesn't last long around here. I've got to have several plants. Cayennes, one of my other favorite plants. When they start fruiting, they are just beautiful. I don't know what this is. I think a bird pooped this seed out <laughs> so I picked it up after it sprouted and put it in a pot so we'll see what that's gonna be but I don't know what that is it's my rosemary my spinach and I've been chopping this baby down because we eat a lot of spinach around here normally fresh I kind of use spinach as lettuce because it's so hot in Virginia I can't seem to even grow lettuce it bolts as soon as I plant it it's insane these are my two watermelon vines I planted I'm gonna plant some more soon. It's my lemon balm, more green peppers. I'm a pepper girl, more cayenne. This is my okra. And okra grows really, really fast and it provides a lot of food, actually. But I've got some more spinach planted, cabbage planted. I'm obviously gonna to have to keep the cabbage in the shade. It bolts really quickly. Sunflower, basil, 
And that's a polka dot plant from inside, but I just wanted to see how it was gonna do outside. I've got artichokes planted. And I love my big artichoke plant in the garden. It seems to be doing really well. More basil, habaneros are kind of germinating finely. Apples are struggling, but I read a report that apples are struggling all over the US, all up and down the East Coast. So not expecting much from these, but fingers crossed. More cayennes. I actually planted two little pots of flowers. Once they get mature enough, I'm gonna repot those and put them in the front of the house. They're called bachelor buttons. They're these beautiful blue flowers. And I've got some pumpkins here in the shade. Picked up a lavender plant that's got some beautiful purple flowers on it already. And I just purchased that about a week ago. So that's one of my new babies. My strawberry over here is doing good been using a lot of my veggies this was one of my sick basil plants I think I saved hopefully it'll come back to life I'm very excited I actually love my garden I spend hours a day outside I probably should be working more but I don't feel like it look at my little strawberries they're coming in I'm worried about these red leaves but like I said I keep spraying them but I do have several little berries in here that are ready for picking I'm just trying not to be greedy and eat them right off the vine. So then these are some of my sick plants, but I'm getting some tomatoes. These are miniature million tomatoes. And these are all red potatoes growing here. And I actually went through two or three buckets last week and pulled out several red potatoes, cooked them up with some mushroom chicken and veggies. It was amazing. Corn, we'll see how that does. I'm not so sure. <clears throat> There's one of my dogs. He's hot. <laughs> he says, mommy, give me a haircut. But guys, look at my squash bed. I am so excited about it. It looks beautiful. I've got the first four are all green squash. Look, I got little frogs in there. And then this last one's yellow. And I've got several fruits on this first plant. Can you see them? I'm excited. I only need a few more days. I'll be able to pull those off and chop them up and saute them, which is delicious. Sunflowers are in struggle mode. I think the sun's just too bright. I'm going to have to do some potted sunflowers this year because these are supposed to be giant. 12 foot sunflowers and they are just stagnant they're not doing well a little fire pit that i made slash bonfire power goes out what do they call it some type of stove i don't know but i've been breaking old trees down so i've got some wood going and i've been saving cardboard from old cartons of milk and things like that that i can burn up save some resources here my broccoli's been getting eaten up by cabbage worms, so I started spraying those the other day. Green beans behind it. And then I have two more yellow squash plants here. They seem to be doing okay. I'm also spraying my plants down in the garden. We're just under an aphid attack. This whole row are Roma tomatoes. They're getting bigger. This whole row is celery. All amazing. And this is my little eggplant plant. And look, I've got my first eggplant. I don't even like eggplant. I just wanted to try it. But I guess I'll try to cook it and eat it. We'll see. Add it to something. Give me some nutrients. And this is my beautiful artichoke plant. Guys, this is probably one of my favorite plants I've ever seen. It's just beautiful. So that's why I've got several seeds germinating on the porch so I hope this helps you and inspires you to do some gardening of your own there's nothing like eating what you grew thank you for your time like share subscribe have a good Sunday Shalom